Hi, I'm Becky Perez. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I will be demonstrating a listening, speaking, and writing activity. The objective of this activity is to identify insect movements. The children will be creating an insect movement booklet. Through this booklet, we are reinforcing skills that the children will be developing. Let me show you, uh, let me share with you what we'll be doing. The first skill is vocabulary words. The children will be writing vocabulary words of the movement of the insect. They will be learning about action words. They will, this will also help them expand the vocabulary. Another skill is writing. As you can see through this booklet, they will, they'll be doing writing. They'll be writing sentences. And because they'll be writing sentences, they'll be learning sentence structure. Also, through the sentence structure, they'll be able to write, they'll know that what type of sentence it is and that it starts with a capital and ends with a period. So they'll, that's how they'll learn that. And then, because it is a booklet, and this is the beginning of reading, it's left to right. They'll be looking at their book, and they'll be reading it from left to right. So those are the skills that will be reinforced through this activity. The materials needed for this activity are, you're going to need uh, two sheets of white construction paper. The activity sheet of the insects and, and construction paper. I have chosen red but you can have different colors because they're going to be using this to uh, illustrate uh, their cover of the booklet. So what you do first, you're going to just take the paper, the two sheets, and fold it in half. And these booklets will be, be prepared ahead of time. You know, make several of them, where, put them in the area where the children were going, are, are going to be using them. Okay, so what you do next, we just take it and then staple in the middle. Just two would be sufficient. One, two, and then their books. Have their book like this. Then you take the insects and you just cut to the middle and then cut the other half and then cut. And also, you can also, they can just cut a little bit off so it'll, it'll fit in their little booklet. Just cut it like that. Just continue cutting. And I'll get them over here with me. Okay. So what they'll do first, children, what they'll do first, they're probably going to just glue the pictures first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm starting the front page, and I'm going to glue it on this first page. I'm going to glue the picture. So they'll do that first. Glue that. Okay. Like this. And then we'll go to the back of the, the book, the page, and we'll glue the next picture. And all children will be able to do this. We'll have no problem uh, gluing the picture to their booklet. So they'll all be able to do this. And of course you have demonstrated this for the children. Because as it is, we want every child to be successful and when we model, they will be successful. Okay, now. So here's the book. Now how are they going to be able to write words? You, you will have, um, to write the words, is, you can prepare a poster ahead of time with the name of the insect, which that will help them. And also have the words, because remember, in science, they're learning about animal, uh, animal behavior, which is the insect behavior, how they move. They've been observing them. They've been investigating them. So here, you post this in an area where they're working so the children can use when they're creating their booklet. So we have different kind of movements here, action words that they will be creating. Now, so what they do next, 
they will write a sentence. Okay? Uh, some children will be able to write a sentence. And that, for example, this is an ant, and we know that an ant crawls. So they will write an ant, an ant, and what does it do? Crawls. And we have a crayon here. We'll put it up. I'll put it in black. But you can also have crayons. Uh, so, you know, they can see the word. But, you know, it, it, I have the marker here, but that, that is just, just as good. And uh, an and cross. Now, we know that in a classroom, we always have different levels. So, this booklet, you will see that because of the different levels of children, some children will just write the word. And that's okay. So, the next child may do their booklet like this. For example... This is a grasshopper, and they have learned that a grasshopper hops. So this child can probably write the word hop. Because remember, this is action word. This is what's important. They have learned that they're, they're writing the action of the, of the insect. Okay? This little insect swims. This student might just write swim. And he might just write the letter S. But yet, he is being successful. Why? Because he knows the initial sound. He knows the movement of the insect. And that's good. Because remember, we have children at different levels. And of course, then we have our children again that can write a sentence. They can write a complete sentence. And this is a B. So, and they will, they'll write it with no problem at all. And of course, they'll be using the materials around them. A, B, and what does the B do? They fly. A B flies. So then we have the students that will be writing a complete sentence. And what so what is really great about this is that they some of them know that a sentence will start with a capital letter and it ends in a period. So that's so as you can see, this is an excellent activity for the different levels. And and you know, every child will be able to take their little booklet home. And yes, they've been successful because at whatever level he sat, he's able to do the activity. Now we're going to do the cover, and like we had said, it's insect movement. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. So we're going to write the title. So first, I'm going to write insect because that's the title of our book. And then movement, put a little bit higher here so we can have room to put their name. And they're going to create the cover. And they're, and they're going to be so creative because they're creating the theories in their little mind. So then, they're being their imagination. So then, I just, you can just, they'll just draw three different shapes. For example, the circle. Here's the circle for the head. And they have learned in science that one of the characteristics that in order for it to be an insect, it has three body parts. And they have identified the three body parts. They know that through science. As you can see, everything connects back to the science. And, and, uh, and uh, they know that, that, uh, that the body part of an insect is three. So then what they do, they glue it. They know that the head is first, because they have learned that. They put the little head here. And then next is the second body part, and they know that this they've named, they have learned the name. So this is the thorax, okay. And then of course, if the majority of the insects, if you look at them, is what they've been investigating. The abdomen is usually longer. So see, so they got the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Now they've also learned that in order for it to be an insect, it has six legs, and they know that the legs go on the thorax. That's where you identify. So you can just put a piece of glue here and then add the three. One. Two. Three. And on the other side, we'll put the other side. And see how it's looking?
two, three. Now also they have learned that they have antennas. Okay? So they have antennas. And of course, when I put the little eyes, you know what's also so wonderful about this activity? It's excellent for evaluation. Excellent. Because if a child puts the legs at the bottom part of the insect, maybe he didn't understand the concept yet. So that means that we have to go back and we have to reteach and reinforce what they have learned. So see, this is an excellent activity for evaluation. And uh, as you can see, they, they come and they'll be able to they'll read and I mean I just love it because it's just good for every level and every child will feel successful. We have also recommended a book that's so good and it, it has to do about insects. What do insects do? And I just show you the illustrations are beautiful. Some of them do they jump, they fly. And it just this is just a great book to reinforce literature, to go, you know, always go back to the literature. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you.